So in this lecture, we're going to continue drawing out Lewis dot structures. So let's begin. Here we have A, B, C, and D, and E. So we have five examples. So let's begin. So in part A, we want to draw the Lewis structure for CH3. Now our first step is to figure out the amount or the number of valence electrons in this molecule, in this CH3 molecule. So let's begin by drawing out our carbon electron configuration. So we have two electrons that go into 1s orbital, two electrons that go into the 2s orbital, and two more electrons that go into our 2p orbital. For H, we have only one electron, and that one electron goes into our 1s orbital. Now, to count the number of valence electrons, we simply have to figure out what the number of electrons are for carbon that are located in the outermost shell. The outermost shell is the n equals 2 shell, and in the n equals 2 shell, we have 2 plus 2, 4 electrons, so that means we have 4 valence electrons for carbon. For H, because we have only one electron, and this one electron is in the outermost 1s shell, we have one valence electrons for each H atom. So, 4 plus 3, because we have three H atoms, and each H atom donates one valence electrons, we have a total of seven electrons. Now, notice that this guy is neutral, so this stays the same. If, for example, this had a negative one on top, that means we have one extra electron. So if there would be a negative one here, this would have been eight electrons. But since this is mutual, there's no charge on top, this stays at seven electrons. So let's begin drawing our uh, Lewis dot structure. So we counted four valence electrons for carbon. So we're going to have uh, three bonding electrons for carbon and one non-bonding. What that basically means is that three electrons that carbon will donate will be part of a bond, while one electron, which will be found here, won't be part of that bond. Now, each H atom will donate one electron each. So let's draw our one electron each. So, these two electrons, where one came from H and one came from C, will be shared by these two atoms and they will create a sigma bond or also known as a covalent bond and we can represent that by simply drawing this dashed line here so here's our depiction or our Lewis dot structure of CH3 then let's make sure that this is in fact the correct picture once again we have seven electrons so one two three four five six seven this line represents two electrons. So this satisfies our condition, and this is in fact the correct drawing for the Lewis dot structure for this guy. So let's go to part B. In part, <clears throat> in part B, we have a CH2 atom. So we have one less, uh, one less H atom as compared to part A. So once again, let's draw our, our uh, electron configuration for both atoms, which is exactly the same as in part A. We have two electrons in the 1s, and four electrons in the valence shell, so in the 2s and the 2p. Now, we have two H atoms, so that means we're going to have one less electron than in part A, and notice that this is a neutral atom, so we're going to have four plus two electrons, so six electrons. So let's look at our depiction here. So once again, we're going to get four electrons that come from the H atom, and uh, from the C atom, and two of these electrons will be bonding electrons. That, that is, they will bond or be shared with two atoms, these two H atoms. And now we have two non-bonding electrons left over, so let's put them in the bond up here. Now, we have two electrons coming from H, so let's fill them in, and let's draw our bond. So, here we have two electrons coming for, uh, here and two electrons here and two electrons here so two two and two gives us six so this is in fact a correct picture now this is once again a sigma bond and this is our non-bonding pair of electrons so let's go to part C in part C we have NH3 or ammonia so in this case we have an N atom so let's draw out our electron configuration for N 
So two electrons go into the 1s, two electrons go into the 2s, and now we have three electrons go into our 2p. So all together we have five valence electrons because we have five electrons in the outermost shell for n. Now we have the same story as before for h. We have one electron that goes into the 1s, and because we have three h's, that means five plus three gives us eight electrons. So, let's show out our depiction here. So once again, N, we'll start with N, we'll start with a central carbon, a uh, central atom. Uh, so we have five electrons, so we're going to have three, non uh, three bonding electrons, so let's show them here, and then we're going to have two electrons left over, so let's put them in our uh, orbital here. And let's also add our electrons that come from our H atom. So here we have this situation. So, so let's fill in our uh, line. So here we have the following Lewis dot structure for uh, ammonia. Now we have two electrons that are shared here, two electrons shared here, and two electrons shared here. So that's two plus two plus two, six, plus two in the non-bonding. So we have a total of eight electrons. And this is in fact a neutral ammonia atom. So let's go to part D. In part D, we basically have a combination of part A and an N atom. So once again, from part A and from part C, we have the following electron configuration for our H, C, and N atom, respectively. Now, a total of 12 electrons because we're going to have three electrons that come from our H. We have five electrons coming from our uh, N, and we have four electrons coming from our carbon atom. So, here's our depiction. So, once again, let's begin with the central atom. Let's begin with our carbon. We're going to have four electrons coming from carbon, and this time all of them will be part of a bond, or they're going to be bonding electrons. Let's draw our three electrons, one each from the, car, uh, from the H, and here we have like so. So let's fill in our lines, and now we're going to have five electrons coming from our N. So one of these electrons will come from, uh, one of these electrons will be a bonding electron. The other two electrons will be part of the non-bonding configuration. So they're, they're going to be in the orbital and they won't be bonding. So let's fill this guy in. And here's our depiction. So as you would expect, N should have five electrons to have a neutral charge, C should have four electrons to have a neutral charge, and H should have one each, and this is the same exact picture, so that means we have a neutral charge, and this is the same thing as this. So let's um, make sure we have 12 electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this satisfies our condition, our neutral condition. So we're done here. So let's go to part E. This is uh, a more complicated example. We have the following atom so or molecule. We have one, two, three, four, five, six H atoms. That means we're going to have six valence electrons all together coming from the H atoms. And we have one, two, three, four. We have four carbon atoms. So each carbon atom donates uh, four valence electrons, four times four is 16, plus six, 22 electrons all together. So, let's begin. So, once again, we're going to have four electrons coming from our carbon atom, okay? So we have uh, one, two, and then we're going to have four more. Now, remember an important point, carbon is able to double bond. Okay, so in this case, we're going to have double bonds. So let's, let's first draw out all our valence electrons for carbon. So we have one, two, three, four for this carbon. We're going to have one, two, um, three, and four for this carbon. We're going to have one, two, three, and four for this carbon. And we're going to have, well, actually, let's put this guy here. And then we're going to have one, two, 
three, four for that carbon. And let's finish our H's. So one each. So one, 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 one and one. So now let's fill in our lines. So we have like so, like so. There you go. We have one here. We have one here, one here. We have two here, one here, and one here. So we're going to have two double bonds here. One between these two carbons and one between these two carbons. So let's count and make sure this is in fact our valence electron for this neutral atom that has, neutral molecule that has 22 electrons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So this is in fact our uh, Lewis dot structure for this following neutral compound.